Well, from Good Day State Lines, back with us this morning with our Good Day Calendar task mm -hmm. of the day. And maybe a good one because we just, we don't want to go outside. Yeah, this is like you can research some yeah. stuff. Perfect. <laughs> so today is National Volunteer Recognition Day. So your task is to find a new place to volunteer. Perfect. This is a good day for that. Yeah, yeah. you literally don't need to leave your house yeah. to do some research. You can use the internet. <laughs> and you can use all of you who helped me. So I asked all of our social media yesterday uh, for some suggestions yeah. for local places yeah. to volunteer. And I got a ton of responses. So we have some of them for you. Uh, let's see. So Rockford Rescue Mission, uh, one of these choices. So all of these, um, I mean, some of these places obviously were closed last year. That's something else I wanted to mention. You know, last year would have been another time we're reflecting on things like we're talking about with the gardening yeah. thing. Sure. But you maybe wanted to help out and you could only do it financially, sure. if that, yeah. right? But now we, we have a little bit more freedom to get out of our houses, a little bit yeah. more freedom to spend some time yeah. And things are opening local. again, too, yeah. where they do need some help. And all these places are, you know, taking the proper protocols, too. Yeah. So if you're maybe nervous, you know, there's still those things in place to be safe. Yeah, you know, the food pantry is one of them. We visited, we did a Good Day State Line segment there, and they just talked about how they had to pare down to like five yeah. volunteers who had yeah. to really commit their time also sure. because yeah. it was like no turnover of people, sure. right? So now there's, there's a little more flexibility, a lot more places that we can volunteer. So this this half of the list, Rockford Rescue Mission, uh, Keep Northern Illinois Beautiful. The Girl Scouts actually need volunteers. I didn't know that no, um, until somebody either. suggested that. Uh, the Natural Land Institute, a lot of these outdoor places, a lot of people commented saying that you are going to experience and see some places you didn't even know existed locally, oh, cool. um, like outdoors, yeah. by volunteering with some of these uh, great organizations, the YMCA, and then we have another set, Sand Bluff Bird Banding, uh, Freeport Little League needs volunteers as well, Aww. Rock House Kids, uh, cool Kitchen Table in Rochelle. That is and an then awesome. Habitat, the kitchen yeah, table. Kitchen Table in Rochelle, just, uh, it's amazing. They feed everybody and it's basically whatever you want to pay. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you want to pay is what you pay. It's, and it's you really feel, cool. you know, because sometimes, you know, people that can't afford a normal meal, you know, they, it sure. doesn't feel good just to take the free food, but if you're allowed to, you don't pay what you yeah. can, it just kind of makes you feel a little bit better yeah. too. So. so tons of different places. Let us know where you want to volunteer. I love or where this you do one volunteer. Though, yeah. yeah. It's awesome. And it just gets you in the right mindset too. Mm -hmm in a crazy time where you know there's so many people in need just be grateful what you have and mm -hmm. offer what you can right now so we do want to leave you with our morning mug club question right now we're talking look-alike celebrities who do people say you look like let us know